What's good guys, it's Joseph and today we're going to be adding a little bit more flow to your edits and so this is going to be a little bit different than a syncing tutorial. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more in depth on how to add that flow style that you want to have um, and this is going to be, you know, I'm going to be talking about different types of styles, music um, and stuff you can do to enhance your flow and I'm just kind of, I'm going to kind of be explaining it in depth so this might be a little bit longer of a video. But if you sit through it, I'm going to put some ideas in your head that are going to help you sync your clips in the future. Um, we're going to be specifically working with Fortnite today, but it's going to be, uh, you can apply these to any type of video game or really a clip that you're syncing in general. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to use this clip right here that I have from my shutdown edit. You can see... And that might have been a little loud. I'm going to put my volume down. I'm sorry if that hurts your ears. But let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'm just going to take a look at what's going on here. And if you see at this part of the shot where it kind of looks like it's synced up to where he starts pulling out the gun and then he actually pulls it out. That was actually something unintentional that happened. Um, I didn't, I don't, as you can see, I don't have a sync point here where he kind of pulls out the gun and then he finishes it up. He's like, cause there's a beat right here. And that's like almost basically perfectly when he pulls out the gun for the first time and then he whips it over his shoulder. And so there's going to be little things like that, that you'll notice as you're syncing. And it's okay to just leave them like that. Cause even if it's unintentional, if it looks good, just leave it in your edit, you know? Um, and and sometimes you'll have like points that perfectly line up with your sync. And something that I'll I'll have you notice here is let's go ahead and go into the graph editor. If you look at my points leading up to the shot, um, you can kind of see that they're basically evenly spaced out for the most part. I don't have one here that's going like up here or or it's like too much down. You want it to be more, more, more or less evenly spaced out, so it's more. It, it just flow. That's what makes it flow a little bit better, because you don't have one part going like really quick, and then the other part really slow. You kind of have it, you know, a little bit spaced out evenly. And we're gonna go. I'll show you exactly what I mean, because I'm gonna go ahead and drag this clip, this same clip in here, and I'm just gonna resync it. I'm gonna go through and resync it, and talk about what I'm doing. And this song is kind of like slow. It has slow beats, goes beat, 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 beat. But there's one right here where it's like, there's a little beat in the middle of these two, but I actually didn't sync to that one. Um, and you can make those decisions on your own because you can even go in and sync a clip and you can actually move these keyframes around to get a different type of look for your clip. Like as soon as you like make, make an, like a sync for a clip, you don't have to leave it how it is. You can go back in the graph editor, edit it however you want to. You can completely delete the whole thing and restart. You can move these around and have these sync to different parts. So you, I would encourage you to play around with that. There's a lot of flexibility. You can change these up a little bit, but I'm going to talk about that here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and hide this one and just, you know, slowly go through sync in this clip and tell you exactly what's going on with me and my thought process. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control alt t because we're using time your map here. I'm gonna to go to the end of my clip, pressing the right square bracket key on my keyboard next to the P key. I'm gonna delete this last one. So we're just literally, we have just one long clip, you know? And this is actually a pretty long clip. It's not cut up or anything, it's raw file. So I'm gonna to have to go find where his shot is, the last attempt to where he hits a shot. And I just happen to know it's right here and so I want the clip, you want to think like, what do you want to happen when it's coming in? If you're going to, if you're thinking of, like, you're thinking ahead of transitions and stuff, I want the clip to start where he's about to jump or where he's about to, you know, get ready for anything. You want to think of sound effects and all that. Um, so I, I just basically started it when he's, when he's like starting to look up here. And then, so now that's it. I have nothing else. I, ha I have my beats here. I want to have... A, a different movement on each beat and I kind of want to have them lined up with each other and sometimes that'll be a little hard to do that because um you don't have much to work with and that's when you want to just make sure at the end of the day 
your points are more are even like this you don't have one that's like really high or like really low you want it to be more or less even but you still want to have things synced up so like for example i'm going to go to my next one i'm just going to keep dragging this number four and it just so happens he shoots his rocket here so i'm just going to have it sync to where he shoots the rocket and then i'm going to go to my next point i'm think I'm, and i'm just looking for something that i want to sync to so you so a lot of people might want to do where he shoots this. But then if you look at the graph editor, you can kind of see it's not this one. Like the space between this is a lot longer than it is for here. And so I would, you know, move this forward, you know, move it up. Just move this time forward. And so now you can actually just sync it to when he's passing this rocket up or he's passing the rocket up or just when he's like mid flight using the grappler and if you look it's not really quite similar because right here and I can just you know move this down and now it's a little bit more even and you and the more you look at it the more you'll understand because this doesn't like there's no specific thing you have to sync to here there's nothing really happening it's just a certain point in time you want the video to speed up and that's what you want to have in your mind because like there's, there doesn't always have to be a certain thing you want to sync to it's just like what point you want the clip to like speed up and so right there I think is a good spot it might be similar to what I have here it's literally almost it's, it's literally <laughs> it's literally exactly the same spot of what I figured here and so I'm just gonna keep going forward the next thing that happens in the clip he starts to take this gun out so I'm gonna have it to where he has the gun right here and I'm pretty sure I did the same thing here or almost the same. Um, it'll it'll be just it'll, it'll be different when I start making the points when I start easy using the the points. Like you can even do this right here. I'm gonna do when you when you first see the gun, and then um, let's see. I think this is where I have the shot. Yeah, this is where the shot is. And so you got this. Shooting it. It's looking good. Okay, actually, so this is where this is where I have the beat in between here and here. And so actually what I could do that I didn't do in the original, because this is where he first took the gun out. So I can have that keyframe there, and I'm gonna have this where he actually fully fully takes it over his shoulder and so it's kind of like this it'll jump sync to here here and there um but for fortnite you don't want to have like a whole bunch of different like speed up and slow downs because there is you know the game is not really made or, or it doesn't look good when you do that and it actually lined up perfectly when i just had the uh you know normal syncing for that because it just looked good anyways so you don't there's no need to have that point there. And that's what that's the decision I ended up making. And like there's no like 100% way like oh this is how you have to sync this clip. Just talking about Fortnite, you want to have just like, you know, simple simple sync points, you know. And when we go into Easy Easy's keyframes, I'll talk a little bit more about how or what different styles you want to use specifically for Fortnite and then what you can use for a different game or what you can try it out. And so I'm just going to go ahead and, and this is where the shot's going to be right here. That's where, you know, you get the muzzle flash of the shot. And then um, for Fortnite, I like to sync right as you see the, like the very first time, very first part you see this uh, victory royale screen come up. And then I go where the victory royale number one is like fully animated almost. And then that's it. And that's how it kind of goes. And I'm just going to highlight all of these. I'm going to easy ease these keyframes. You can press F9, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And this is where we go into the graph editor. And you can kind of see these are more or less spaced out pretty evenly. It's not always going to be perfect, but the more you get it evenly spaced out, the better it's going to look. Um, obviously, yeah, you don't want to have one up really high or low. And that just depends on where in time that point is. For the shot, it's going to be a little bit different because you're going to, it's going to be a little bit 
more exaggerated. But let's go ahead and take a look. So for Fortnite in general, if you ever want to get a better look at your um, graph editor, you want to um, unable or disable this uh, auto zoom. So just click it and then you press control and you scroll down or up so you can see more and you can zoom in with this little button right here and you can really see what's going on and you can go in between you can go to each set of points by himself and that's what I normally do so I get to see exactly what I'm doing but for Fortnite you really only want to just drag this up just like ever so slightly and then drag this down ever so slightly because you only want it to be like barely you know you just want to have a little bit if you're jump syncing, obviously you want to pull this up, pull this down. And at any point, if this middle section right here, if at any point this middle section is linear, or if this goes up and this goes down, that means your clip is going to actually play and it's going to go reverse. And that's not what you want unless you're doing it on purpose. Or if it's linear, which is like a straight line, you're only, it's going to, your clip's going to stutter. And you know, you see nothing's actually happening right here because it's a straight line. So you want to make sure it never gets linear, okay? And so now if you do that, it's kind of jump synced. And that's way too fast for Fortnite. You can get away with that on game first person shooters most of the time, like Call of Duty or Valorant. You want to sync like that. Depending on the song too. This is a kind of like a slow paced song. It has a lot of beats. But um it for Fortnite, you just want to kind of barely have it sync, you know. And then I'm just going to do that, really. And that's how easy it is to sync Fortnite. You just barely put it up and down. You just do that for the whole thing. And if you look at this curve, I, I generally like to make this curve flow nicely into the next one. And that's part of, like, the flow aspect. Like, in between each sync point, like, if I have this one like this, you can kind of see the line, the curve doesn't generally go in the direction or, I mean, it, it, I guess you can kind of see it. It looked better if I went like this. Um, but you can kind of see it's like, it's more of like a smooth transition in between the next curve. Obviously you don't have to make it look like that. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it doesn't. You just want to play with it. You want to preview it a lot. But yeah, we're just going through and we're barely touching these sync points. Just barely put it up, down. Because when you put this up, this is the part where it's going to speed and it's going to be slow in between here. And then you're just going to do the same thing here. Maybe, maybe you want to exaggerate this a little bit more. So you drag it up a little bit higher and make this a little bit more at the end. Because this is right before the shot, so you want it to be strong right there. He's going to whip that gun right over, like, really quick. And then this is the shot, so you want to press control and scroll a little bit down so you can see what's going on. And then you want to have a little bit more speed. And this is where you don't actually don't have to have the clip or this line right here match up. Because the shot, you want it to jump really quick because you want it to have a lot of emphasis. Because this is a really hard-hitting beat in the song. If you want to, you can drag this like this. And it'll kind of ease into it just like that. And then you want to drag this a little bit down. So now you have the song and, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. And obviously you're going to have to preview it and then you can just, you want to barely sync that. So for Fortnite specifically, you want to have your sync points like that. Say if you're doing first person shooter like COD or Valorant. You can drag these all the way up. You can experiment with that in Fortnite if you want to. Um, but obviously, you know, whatever you think is best, you can go with. I'm just showing you different methods. And so now we have it synced up pretty much to the song. It might, it basically will look exactly the same as I had it. It might not be the same though, because I spent a lot of time, like say, say if we go into the graph editor for this, it might look similar. Yeah, you can kind of see it's basically the same if we look at these curves. It's really similar to what I have or what I just made for you guys. But that's really it when you're talking about syncing. Because 
if you do, if you, I always make my sinks first before I put any effects on or anything. I always make sure my sink is solid, and then I go to add effects to enhance it. Because effects, like good effects, good clean effects, actually enhance your flow because they make it, and they make your beats pop out a little bit more. Like if you had a nice twitch or shake on this shot right here, it's just gonna blend it all together. But having a nice sink is really what you want. And um, obviously your flow will increase the more you go in and perfect your curves. Um, like I I've never had a, a shot where I synced it the first time and I was happy with it. I'll go back, you know, like hundreds of times, <laughs> hundreds of times might be a little bit exaggerating, but it literally feels like just like constantly just going back and forth changing like even if I go in here and change like one tiny little movement that can make all the difference so you just want to you know change stuff up preview it and just you know look at it and really study it like preview just like each individual one like not even the whole thing at once just like look at this part from like here to here preview it and then just move to the next part and then you can watch it all over together and just really pay attention to those curves pay attention to what's going on and um, if you have any, you know, uh, if you if you have any like stutters or anything, Fortnite's a game where you can just enable frame blending right here. There's a box right here. Um, this is the frame blending symbol. You want to click it once. You want to click it twice. So now you have this little arrow with these boxes around it or these little points around it. And this is where you enable frame blending. And that's going to make your syncs a lot smoother. You're not going to get any warping really on Fortnite. There's a little bit right here, but that's going to be maxed. That's going to be like unnoticeable with motion blur. And so that's going to make your flow look a lot better because everything's going to be smoother with frame blending, obviously. Um, but I always sync without frame blending first, just so I can get a base sync. And then once you add frame blending, it's going to take your flow to the next level. Um, and if you do have a part where you can't really get rid of the, like the, the warp, for frame blending like say there's a really warpy spot right here for frame blending but everything else is fine you can actually um you can go to edit or where is it i only know the shortcut for this let's see because i know it, it's control shift d yeah control shift d or edit split layer and then you go over here edit split layer and then you just take this clip right here and then you just disable the frame blending and so this part of the clip won't have frame blending on it, but that's only if you uh, can't get around getting the frame blending off of it. And how you do that other way, and another way to do that is just change the sync up a little bit. But other than that, I hope these ideas help you guys in your uh, you know syncing career, whatever you guys are trying to make. Um, if you have any questions, if you want me to look at your edits, or if you have any. Like if you want, if you have any like a uh, previews you want me to take a look at, see if like I, what I can do to get you guys on the right track. Um, just send them over to Twitter. My DMs are always open. Sorry if this video was a little bit longer. Um, if you stayed throughout the whole whole duration of the video, thanks a lot. It really means a lot. But uh, you know, other than that, that's pretty much it. I kind of got everything I wanted to go over out in this video. Um, sorry again, it's kind of long, but. I think it's really important that you guys know this stuff. So if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll try to respond to every comment. I do read all of them. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.